Hey, it's Larry Case here in Southern Florida with my good buddy, Tony from Gamo, and we're chasing the invasive iguanas here. And uh, of course, we've got the Gamo rifles. First thing we had to do is get familiar with them, or I did, and get sighted in and everything, right? So we started out doing that. Now, I have a good bit of experience through Squirrel Master and whatever with the, Tony, with the Gamo Swarm Magnum. This is a G2, it is, am I yeah. right? Yep. Okay, and I like it. But during this process, sighting in and everything, they put the Bone Collector uh, series on me, and I want to tell you, I really like it, okay? So just Cliff Notes version, some of the differences in these two guns. Uh, the, uh, the Bone Collector has got a, uh, a wood stock, polymer fluted barrel with the shorter more compact whisper moderator on the front yep whereas the uh, the magnum has got a, uh, a pistol grip thumb hole stock great feel and great textured polymer stock it's got the, the larger whisper uh, moderator on the end a little more power in this gun the the larger moderator really really quiets that down a little more power on the swarm magnum g2 a little bit. right yep okay so Layman's terms, this is my perception. I believe most of us out there think this is what you want for all your small game hunting, and it's great. Uh, and maybe because this is a little less powerful, you're not going to use this. Listen, we're shooting these iguanas here. They are extremely tough animals, extremely, okay? And this, this rifle, the bone collector, for example, no problem putting them down, right? No, not at all. One shot. And 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 if 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 the uh, this rifle is going to do that, you, you know, you know, the little more powerful Swarm Magnum is not going to have any trouble. Okay. So, Tony, I think we're about ready to go get some iguanas. I'm ready. All this talk's got me wanting to shoot. Yeah. And there seems to be a few of them here. I've seen a few this morning right. already. So let's go see what we can find. Let's get it done. Ten four. Yeah. Hey, I'm back with my buddy Tony here, and we need to talk about what pellets we're using today. I've already got several questions from yesterday on social media. Hey, Larry, what pellets, the guys want to know what pellets you're using. Again, these iguanas, extremely hard to take down. So, Tony, I guess we're using the Gamo Red Fire? We're using the Gamo Red Fire 22 caliber polymer tipped pellets. Um, it's, it's a ballistic tip. It pellet. is a ballistic tip pellet. Um, it promotes, uh, you know, spreading like a yes. hollow point would. Yes. But it's got that ballistic tip that really aids in penetration. Um, There's a major consideration in our hunt today. Um, what pellet are we going to use? It's going to get the job done accurately, you know, within this uh, close environment that we yes. are. And and that pellet has just really delivered. And we're also concerned. Tell me about. We don't want the pass through. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Again, you know, this is this is uh, this is hunting in a in an urban situation here. So we don't want pellets flying through and passing through everything. This pellet here will enter the cavity, and then the polymer tip backs out, and the pellet expands, and we get a, a good uh, you know damage within the cavity. And they've been pellet. doing 
a, a, a really good job. Again, oh, excellent. It, one it, shot is all it takes with these things. Of course, it could have been the guy that was shooting it. I'm not. I don't know. What do you think? I, I mean, I would. I would give him credit. <laughs> Bad. There you go. Nice job, Harold. Very good. Yeah. Pretty good. Not bad. <laughs> 